Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 10 minute instant clean and what's for dinner. I'm just hopping right into the video here. No like previews, anything like that. I'm just hopping right into all the goodness, the dirty goodness, oh my goodness, the dishes. Guys, I think if you are going to straighten up any room in your house and make your house feel instantly 10 times cleaner, it's going to be your kitchen. And if you're anything like me and you have a broken dishwasher, doing the dishes is going to go a long ways. Um, I will be honest with you, uh, this video is sped up quite a bit and I did have a little bit of help with uh, the dishes from my mom, but regardless of all the help and the whatevers, 10 minutes cleaning your kitchen is going to instantly make your entire house feel cleaner. Again, if you're anything like me, my kitchen is the entire center of my home. We're constantly in and out grabbing snacks or drinks or popsicles or ice cream or whatever it may be in the summertime. We are constantly in and out. So anywho, 10 minute instant clean. Let's tidy up the house. Let's get our day going off on the right foot. And I will see you guys when I start cooking what's for dinner. my personal Zupa Toscano recipe, or as we like to call it in my house, Tuscan soup. This is like a twist on the Olive Garden recipe and is super yummy. I kind of kick up the flavor a little bit. Um, I like ours to be a little bit more flavorful and um, I like it to be a little bit more spicy too. So anyways, this is um, what I typically buy um, and usually have on hand in the house for Tuscan soup because we make it so often. Um, it's really nice for lunches, um, and if you want to kick the carbs down, you can always replace your Idaho potatoes with um, cauliflower. Really easy way to make it a little bit more um, low carb. But this is just such a filling, yummy soup. And I know that soup is kind of like a funny thing to make in the summertime. But I will tell you what, I like to make soup in the summer because it's just so easy to reheat because you're always on the go, you're always doing things. Um, I usually have like sandwiches, uh, like sandwich stuff in the house too, so like fruit, sandwich stuff, and then um, some kind of soup on hand. Um, they like to drink the broth and they love the potatoes, they love the kale, my kids will eat the heck out of this soup. So anywho, so I will get um, some Jimmy Dean sausage, you can also get the um, Jimmy Dean hot sausage is really good, um, but I only use half of this. This is a two pound roll. I use one pound of Jimmy Dean ground pork sausage. Um, I have one medium yellow onion here. Uh, the bouillon that I use is the better than bouillon. Um, roasted chicken base, this is really good. I got this at Walmart, but I like to get it at Costco because you can get it in a bigger size for like $5.99 versus this teeny tiny little thing is $4.99 at Walmart. Way better deal at Costco. Um, and then I will, I always eye my potatoes, so I'll show you guys. I always use the same pot when I'm making this soup. And I've made it so many times that I can just kind of eye it. Um, but 
I will count with you guys today and tell you how many of the Idaho potatoes that I use. Um, you wanna make sure that these are peeled and diced before you stick them in. And then I have one bunch of kale here. Um, this is just curly kale. You can use dinosaur kale. Um, curly kale is typically what I use. Um, just make sure that you soak this beforehand because curly kale does have little black bugs on it and that will end up in your soup. It's happened to me plenty of times. It grosses me out. So, usually we've been doing the frozen kale because the the bugs like freak me out so much. I know they're not gonna kill me, but they freak me out. So, anywho, first things first, I'm gonna go and soak this kale, get these potatoes peeled and diced, and tell you guys exactly how many I use. Okay, so I'm sitting here, I'm super weird and squatty, but this is usually my setup that I'll do. I'll have my cutting board out in front of me so that as soon as I am done peeling the potato, I can put it directly on the cutting board. And then the grocery bag here, I always save my grocery bags, but I peel my potatoes and put the potatoes into the grocery bag, put the potato on the cutting board, and then I will show you how I dice my potatoes. But while I'm sitting here, I just wanted to chat with you guys really quick. Um, I wanted to talk about like a few other um, go-to summer meals that I have um, and things that I will be rotating in a lot more now that I'm staying home. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions on that, by the way, because um, people are like, oh, well, you know, I was drawn to you because you were a working mom, etc., etc. And I want to make one thing very clear. I still work. Um, besides YouTube, we still have m and Rustics, so I still have a very typical like eight to five looking routine. Um, I just get to work out of the home permanently instead of just um, during the COVID situation. So that I think is something that I needed to clear up with you guys. Yes, I'm still doing m and Rustics and that takes me a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of branding, a lot of marketing, and behind the scenes and things like that that I work on. Um, I do uh, work on our Facebook page quite a bit, and I touch base with um, some of our contractors. I'll touch base with our customers throughout the day. I do sponsored posts. I work on our blog. Um, I just try, I'm trying to promote like the brand of Eminem itself, but it is very much so a full-time job. And if you consider like, my normal YouTube. What's so nice about this kind of stuff and like talking with you guys is like this is just like real life stuff. I don't I don't filter this very much for you guys, and you know that. Um, I just keep it as real as possible, and I'm like, yo, this is what I'm doing today. Or hey, you guys want to see like my summer meal ideas? Sure, like I'll give you guys my summer meal ideas. I talk to you guys very much so the same way I would talk to like my friends or my family. So these videos are a lot less work. Um, they still do take me like four or five hours to edit. Um, and then I would say like the hardest for recording would be like the clean with me. Um, there is real respect for like Brianna Kay and like all of those girls out there that are doing uh, like Tiffany Beeston, um, Love Meg. They do all of those cleaning videos like three, four times a week. <sighs> Girl. It is hard to, hard, hard, hard to record that, especially if you have kids home, hard. Because moving that camera, making sure that the babies aren't knocking it, out, knocking it over, it is a struggle. Um, anywho, but I do have lots more cleaning videos coming up for you guys, just because I know it is impossible to keep the house clean in the summer. I know my house has been a disaster for the past few days. Thank goodness my mom has been staying with me because with the dishwasher being broken and having more people in the house, it's hard. It is really hard. We've been trying to keep them outside as much as possible. Like we have a pool set up outside. Um, we also have the trampoline now, as you guys have seen in some of my vlogs. Um, so my mom and I will just sit in the back and like let the girls play. Riker usually takes a nice long nap from like 11 to three or 11 to two. His naps have been really long lately, so. Anyway, it's just nice because then we can lay, or we can sit in the back, he can lay down, we can focus on the girls outside. Super fun, but anywho, um, it's hard to keep the mess contained during the summertime. It's hard to find meals during the summertime when you're exhausted from running around and trying to entertain the kids all day. This is one of those recipes that I go to all the time. I know it's, it's weird to make soup in the summer, I know, because it's hot outside. Um, something else that I would make if you don't like to eat soup in the summer, 
Um, I'll always make sure, like I said before, I make sure I have sandwich stuff on hand. Um, I'll also make sure I've got stuff for like a fruit salad I can throw together. Um, no, nothing with like cool wood, but like I do like watermelons some cut up strawberries, blueberries. Um, you could even do one with like grapes and apples, peaches, bananas. Um, just like a medley of fruit, if you will. Um, I also like to have quick things on hand. So what I'll usually do is I'll like, I'll take one day meal prep, like the fruit salad and like the soup or whatever else I'm gonna meal prep for that week. I'll take one day, typically a Sunday, and I will cut up all of my vegetables, all of my fruit, and I will prepare my soup for the week. That will save you so much time. So much time throughout the week, especially the vegetables. I cheated this week and I got the chopped vegetables, the pre-chopped vegetables, um, but it saves you so much time because then you can just like throw and go. That's a huge thing for me, especially in the summer, especially when I was working full time at the office. I just dropped a potato. Yeah, so anyway, that's one of my tips. Um, some other meals that we have in the summertime that's super quick and easy, um, besides sandwiches and soup, is I will do grilled cheese and tomato soup. Um, some, I'm trying to think of like other things we do at the lake too. A lot of times it's just like sandwiches or like snacky stuff. Chips and dip is a big one. Um, pasta salads, potato salad, um, lots and lots of sandwiches though. Um, burgers, hot dogs. Um, sloppy joe's barbecue is just like super easy like throw together quickly or making a big batch something that i like to do we eat burgers and hot dogs all the time throughout the summer and brats whatever i'll usually keep um yogurt on hand in packets lots of things in packets lots of things for on the go um i'll do fruit snacks and i try to get like the healthier version of the fruit snacks but Summertime is all, all about convenience and go, go, go. And I will tell you that the applesauce packets and the yogurt packets have definitely saved me a ton of time, especially during the COVID stuff um, and being home with the kids. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, just a quick chat, well, long chat about like some things that I, um, some things that I keep on hand during the summertime just to make life easier. Um, I do kind of loosen up on like my health stuff during the summertime, not just like for me. I try to focus on it a little bit more during the summer, like salad and stuff. I've been really bad the past four days, but I've been on like mental mom vacation mode. Uh, so I've eaten all the pizza rolls and the ramen noodles, all the things. But, um, some things I like, I like to keep ice cream in the house in the summer. I like to keep popsicles in the house in the summer. So typically things I don't keep in the house in the winter time, but the kids are running around so much outside and I feel like I'd be depriving them of their childhood if they weren't eating pizza rolls and ice cream in the summertime, but that's just me. Okay, all right, I'm gonna finish peeling these potatoes. Um, I've just got like little bite-sized potatoes, so I was going to take a million of them, but anywho. Okay, so I like to um, like dice everything up ahead of time. I like to start my sausage and my potatoes all at the same time. I'm using, let me just show you guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm using 12 potatoes of very different sizes, of varying sizes. <laughs> I, to dice my potatoes, let's clear the way. Um, I like to cut my potatoes in half long ways and then I will flip them on their side so that's flat side down and then I cut them two to three times long ways and then I dice them.
So I use a whole medium onion, um, medium yellow onion when I'm making this. Um, the easiest way to cut an onion, I've already done this half here, but for the other half, so I will take, do you know how like the lines go down the onion, right? So when I like peel the onion, I like, I'll take it and I'll just kind of cut into it, peel the outside off, and then I cut it in half. And then once it's cut in half, do you see all these like lines that are running up and down the onion? Um, maybe you can't see it on here, but you don't know what I'm talking about. There's like lines on an onion. If you cut on those lines the long ways like this, okay, you do that first. And I like to go thinner with my onions because we don't like super big chunks in our soup. Okay, so from long ways, and then you're gonna grab it and you're going to turn it, okay? And then you're just going to cut it this way. And ta-da! So they will all fall apart, just like so. Anywho, you're going to take this onion and you're going to saute it with half of this log of meat. Brown the sausage with the onions, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I am just going to, sorry, I took like my middle, or my mom took my griddle thing to clean it up for me. Thanks, mom. All right, so we're gonna take this out. So I am going to turn this on at a five or a six, a six, because I want it to cook quick. And then I will do um, the onions and add it directly to this right now. I have to tell you a really funny story about this really quick. Also, I don't want to light my hair on fire. I didn't realize that this weird thing, this weird tool thing was for um, grinding up meat until like very recently, like within the past six years or so. So this is to grind up your meat on the stove. You ever seen one of these? It was like one of those today years old type of things, yeah for grinding the meat, y'all. Anyways, I will just grind all this up together. And then once it is browned, then it is done and ready to go. Okay, so the next thing that I do is, while the sausage is browning is I will take all of my diced potatoes that I put in this pot here, um, and I will fill it with the water. Sorry, the lighting is really bad, but I'm right against the window. I'm just giving the sausage a little stir. I've got my potatoes going on in the back over here. Um, and I just filled the water up um, about like two thirds of the way. And then you let that cook. I'm going to put a cover on it and let those potatoes cook almost all the way through before I add the rest of my ingredients. Um, once I get this sausage ground up, then I will move on to the kale. Okay, so I've had my kale soaking in water and some thieves oil for about five, 10 minutes now. And, oh, and some vinegar. I also put vinegar in there. Um, I'm really bad at rinsing my vegetables. Sorry, I thought there was a bug in there. Um, I'm really bad at like rinsing and soaking my veggies and my fruit, um, but this is like one vegetable I always soak because of the bug situation. So now that it's been soaking for a little bit, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to tear it up and then we will add it to the potatoes when they were, when they're like about half to almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I tear the kale. So I will just take a piece here. I will take all my pieces and actually I will rinse them after they've been soaking. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. What I like to do is I will take, like I will grasp it and then take my thumb and my nail on the other side and just pull it. I used to cut my kale until I realized that it was a total waste of time and it was faster to do it this way. So again, I will just take my kale like this and then my thumbs, okay. I put the kale in my hands and then I just like pull it. Now that it is off of like the spines I call it. I know, I don't know the technical terms for anything, but this is where I will cut it up.
So since my camera was not recording, I added all of that bunched kale that we cut up here. I add that directly, added that directly to the potatoes, and the potatoes are now at like a two-thirds of the way done, okay? So once they're about half to two-thirds done, um, you're going to add in that kale, and then we just added our sausage, onion saute mix, and I was saying, what well, before I realized I wasn't recording, um, I added in the grease as well because the grease actually, I know it's unhealthy guys, I know, but it's so good, it adds so much flavor to the soup and in like the long run, you're not getting a whole ton of it. So anyways, I will just mix this all around and the next thing that I will do before I just let this sit and cook is I'm going to add some bacon bits. Um, usually I will just do like about a four ounce bag, but since I have a huge nine ouncer here, I'm just gonna add a handful in. This, these real bacon pieces are so amazing to have on hand because I use them for soups, I'll use them for omelets, and I use them for dips in the summer. Super versatile and handy to have. Um, so after I get that bacon in, I will mix it up. So typically, the next thing I'll do is add in fresh garlic, fresh minced garlic with a little bit of the juice inside of the, um, I'll take like some of the juices from like the jar of the garlic, but I don't have that on hand, so I'm just gonna do some garlic powder this time around. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few tablespoons of this Better Than Bouillon chicken um, base, which is honestly, this is the best like bouillon base ever. Three. Last but not least, I add nature's seasons. Um, this is a go-to seasoning of mine. It's just an all around good allspice. Um, but I will literally add Nature seasons in there has a little bit of celery salt. There's garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. Um, I think that's it. It's just like a combination spice, but it's so good. It's so yummy. Um, I forgot the absolute last thing that I add is the crushed red pepper. I won't do a ton of this just because I don't want this to be too spicy for the kids. But there we go. After this is all mixed together, then I will let it sit here and simmer and cook all together and get all yummy for about a half an hour. Actually scratch that. I'd say probably about 15 minutes I let it sit there. Okay, so now that the soup has been simmering here for about 15 minutes, I'm going to add in about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of half and half. I just eye it. Um, I just know that from the recipe, um, it's about half a cup to a cup, actually. It's whatever your liking is. Um, and the recipe that I used to use was heavy whipping cream. It was just like a whole like little container of heavy whipping cream. And now I do half and half to lighten up the calories a little bit. And half and half is just something that I keep on hand a lot more. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna throw this in a bowl and show you guys what the final result looks like. So this is our final result for our soup. It's so yummy. The kale in here, you can make it a little bit softer. You can keep it crunchy. It's so good. And again, if you wanna cut the carbs in the soup, all you have to do is really just take out this, um, take out the Idaho potatoes and swap it for cauliflower. If you wanna lighten it up and make it um, even healthier than that, you can replace the Jimmy Dean sausage, um, pork sausage with like a turkey sausage or chicken sausage. I have tried a chicken sausage in here before and it is phenomenal still. So lots of different variations you can do with this soup. Very filling, you can make it very healthy and low carb. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Good. Ooh, that's hot. 
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this 10 minute instant clean and what's for dinner video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I have another really fun video coming for you guys on Tuesday and I cannot wait to share with you guys what is coming in that video. I have such a cute summer DIY coming for you guys and trust me, you're gonna wanna tune in for this one because it is so cute. I share some of my secrets with you guys, so stay tuned. And also, I will be sharing my daily summer cleaning routine and the things that I have to do throughout the day when the kids are here. You might even see a cameo of some of my relatives who are staying with me for the week, so should be very fun. And I am teaming up with one of my other favorite fellow YouTubers, so stay tuned for Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. I will catch you guys then. Okay, bye guys.